guys, everyone, and welcome to ASMR Gaming News. Please hit that like button, sit back, relax, and let's begin. So, right out of the gate this week, we have two big rumors. So, first rumor that came out this week was from a guy that previously leaked the release date for a Nintendo Switch Direct. And what this guy said was, Fortnite Battle Royale and Fortnite Save the World would be coming to the Nintendo Switch later this year with exclusive Nintendo-themed items or exclusive content. So that could be costumes, emotes, anything essentially inspired by Nintendo. So that sounds really awesome if true. Imagine if the Switch gets Fortnite and you have like a Super Mario costume or a Link costume from The Legend of Zelda or a Samus costume from Metroid, or from any other, you know, Nintendo series, even Pokemon, perhaps. So, uh, I, I, I really believe that Fortnite will be coming to the Switch eventually, simply because it's already on the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4, and now it's even on, uh, phones, you know, it's on the iOS store, and it's very accessible to everyone, so it runs on Unreal Engine, uh, and the Switch, you know, can easily run Unreal Engine games, so my prediction is at E3 this year, you know, Nintendo is gonna have a special trailer that Epic Games puts out for a Switch version of the game, and apparently, according to this rumor, the Switch version is also going to have local multiplayer for Save the World. So, apparently it's going to allow people that own, you know, Fortnite to play with each other in the same room, uh, co-op mode in um, the Save the World version of Fortnite. So, I'm not really familiar with uh, Save the World since I've only been playing Battle Royale. But I do know that in that mode, it's it has like squads where you essentially can team up with other players to take down uh, the zombies or the enemies in that mode of the game. So it sounds very interesting, and I hope that this actually happens. The next rumor is uh, for Call of Duty on the Nintendo Switch. So. Apparently, according to this rumor, the Nintendo Switch is going to be getting Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this year, but there's going to be a big difference for this version of the game. So, unlike the PS4 and Xbox and PC versions of the game, the Switch is just going to have the Call of Duty Battle Royale Black Ops 4, like mode in the game. It's not going to have the normal online multiplayer mode at all. So, that sounds really bizarre. Uh, not sure why Activision would do something like this. A lot of people on the Switch, I think, would like to play the normal multiplayer version of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So it seems like a weird decision that they would essentially take out an important part of the game and focus on Battle Royale on the Switch. So, hopefully this rumor is not true. We'll probably know in just a few weeks. Um, Activision has come out and said that the official reveal for uh, Black Ops 4 is going to be on May 17th, I believe. Yeah, the 17th of this month, or next month. We're essentially in May almost, so... On the 17th of May, oh, that's when they're going to have, like, a special trailer and reveal event. And 
that's when they're going to announce the Nintendo Switch version, apparently. So, yeah, uh, I really want Call of Duty on the Switch, but I don't want a version that doesn't have any of the modes that the PS4 version is going to have, because that just does not sound really good to me, at least. So, hopefully, uh, it has a complete online multiplayer version of the game as well. Uh, in good news this week, H1Z1 is coming to the PlayStation 4, and it's going to be entirely free to play, and there's going to be an open beta starting on May 22nd. So, on the 22nd of May, anyone with a PlayStation 4 is going to be able to play H1Z1 entirely for free, and uh, for those that don't know, H1Z1 is considered to be, like, among one of the first Battle Royale-style games. And after being in early access for a very long time on PC, it's finally coming to the PlayStation 4, so I'm interested in checking this game out. I'll probably record a video of it for the channel. Uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to play in teams in that game, but... If anyone wants to join me, I'd be more than happy to join uh, some subscribers and maybe record a video for that game. So, May 22nd is when the open beta is coming out. So, the trailer looks really interesting. So, if you're interested too, be sure to check out some gameplay videos and tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, the new Sony... Spider-Man game is coming out for the PlayStation 4 later this year, and apparently some new information has been revealed that the Iron Spider-Man suit from the Avengers Infinity War movie is going to be in this Spider-Man game, so Spider-Man isn't just going to be wearing his default costume but you're going to have the ability to swap and change costumes in this game. And one of them is based on the new Avengers Infinity War film. So, I think that's really cool. I love Spider-Man. And just having the ability to wear his suit from the new movie sounds really awesome to me. So, I'm even more hyped for this new upcoming Spider-Man game. I really hope it's, it's good when it comes out. Shadow of the Tomb Raider had new artwork released this week for both the game and the cover artwork for the game box uh, or the game case and it looks awesome so I'll, I'll post some screenshots here so you guys can see yeah really really nice artwork uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider looks like it's going to be a very interesting game uh, some people are saying that it might be slightly darker in tone compared to the previous games. So I'm not sure what to think of that. But uh, the game artwork like that's going to be featured on the case, that looks really awesome, really cool. So if you haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider or the original Tomb Raider game yet, I highly recommend you, you guys play those games before this new one comes out later this year. Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, had some information uh, regarding the project come out this week. So, for those that don't know, uh, Final Fantasy VII is considered to be one of the best games ever created. Uh, for me, it, it's definitely in my top ten favorite games. So, I'm really happy about this remake that they're going to be uh, developing in the next few years. But something came out uh, about the project this week, and internally at Square Enix, people have been discussing how they're going to try to surpass the original Final Fantasy VII game with this new version, so I'm not exactly sure how they're going to create something that's even better than the original, but I'm very happy that they're at least going to try to outdo the original game instead of 
just trying to go for the same old, the same old style of gameplay and everything, so this makes me even more excited for this game. I can't wait for it to come out. It's probably still a long way off. <laughs> it's been in development for a while now, so honestly, I don't expect to see it this generation at all. It might actually be a PlayStation 5 game instead of a PlayStation 4 game. Uh, David Cage's uh, Quantic Dream Studios new game, Detroit Become Human, has a PlayStation 4 demo that's now available on the PlayStation Network. So if you're a fan of games like Heavy Rain or Beyond Two Souls or Indigo Prophecy and all his other uh, games that he's been involved with, uh, I highly recommend checking out this demo. It's entirely free and it's on uh, PS4, so I might actually download it and do a video of it for the channel. Not sure yet, but I'm interested in the game. So it should be nice to just see how exactly it plays and feels like, so definitely gonna check out the demo. And it's kind of rare for games to get demos these days especially on the PlayStation 4, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, oh, now we have some Minecraft news. So, Minecraft has a new DLC add-on pack for the game, which adds Final Fantasy 15 characters, and there's a huge list of characters that it, that it basically brings into the game. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's a really long list. Uh, essentially, it has all the main characters and all the mo most important, like, key characters that are featured in the game as, like, Minecraft skins. So, yeah, and what's surprising about this is this add-on pack for Minecraft is basically being released for every version of the game, so... The Wii U version, the Nintendo Switch version, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC versions of Minecraft are all getting this Final Fantasy 15 uh, add-on pack for Minecraft. So, if you're a Minecraft fan and a Final Fantasy fan, this is definitely something that you should check out. So, uh, we have a lot of Nintendo news, so let's get this started. Uh, Tatsumi Kimishima uh, was the former president of Nintendo, and during a fiscal earnings investor meeting this uh, past week, he stated that he would be retiring from his presidential position at Nintendo in June and apparently in June, a new guy called Shintaro Furukawa would be replacing him. So, yeah, this is really, really interesting. Apparently, the new president of Nintendo that will be taking his place in June has been involved with the Pokemon series. He's been involved in the marketing department at Nintendo and speaks English quite fluently since he worked in Germany in the Nintendo marketing division there for about 15 years if I'm not mistaken so yeah this guy apparently is very smart and it, it, he, he really likes Nintendo so I think he's a good fit for president of the company so hopefully he makes some really good decisions regarding the Switch and the future of Nintendo so I'm kind of sad to see Tatsumi Kimishima step down from his position and retire, but it's nice to see someone young and new take over his uh, spot at Nintendo, so hopefully good things come from this. So, some new information came out regarding Nintendo's upcoming Nintendo Switch online subscription service. So, it's going to be coming out in September. And we're going to have more details in May. So next month in May, there's going to be a special press event where they're going to reveal just what to expect from their online subscription service and 
they're going to announce all the details. So can't wait to see what exactly the Switch Online is going to be like. I hope they have some kind of PlayStation Plus style membership system where they give you games each month that you can play. That's what I've seen a lot of Nintendo fans uh, hoping for on the internet, so I kind of feel the same way. I hope, you know, they give you one or two free games each month or loan you one or two free games each month so that you can try them out and then, you know, either buy the games if you really like them or just wait until they swap out the games next month. So something like that would be really interesting. I hope they give us like a messaging system so we can message our friends on the Nintendo Switch and maybe like online voice chat, a uh, party chat, you know, where you can invite your friends to a party and voice chat with them while you play multiplayer games on your Switch. So all that stuff sounds really awesome. Next, Nintendo announced their E3 plans, and yeah, they look really cool, so E3 this year for Nintendo is looking really awesome, so first off, on June 11th, the Splatoon World Championship is going to start. This is the World Championship for Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, it starts June 11th, and it ends June 12th. So on the 12th, they'll be holding the finals of the best best players all facing each other. So that looks really interesting. Then they're going to have their special Nintendo video presentation on June 12th. So June 12th is basically when they're going to announce all their new games reveal some stuff like Super Smash Brothers, maybe a new Pokemon game, all, all that stuff's getting announced on June 12th. Then after that, uh, they're going to have a Nintendo Treehouse live event where Nintendo staff are going to interview developers that are making games for the Switch and 3DS and they're going to show off trailers and new games. And this is going to take place from June 12th to June 14th. And then on June 12th, right after the Splatoon 2 World Championship, they're going to have a Super Smash Brothers Invitational Tournament where Smash Brothers players are going to be able to compete against each other. So all this stuff sounds really awesome, and I can't wait to watch these tournaments and these video presentations live at E3. And lastly, we have some pieces of news for the Switch regarding games. Uh, first off, Platinum Games this week during an interview said they want to bring the wonderful 101 to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the Wonderful 101 was a really great Wii U game that barely anyone played. It was a lot of fun. I actually own it. And they want to bring it to the Switch so more people get the opportunity to play the game. So I really hope this actually happens. They said they're in talks with Nintendo about porting the game to the system. Uh, next, they talked about Bayonetta 3 and how they're working to make the game not only good, but exceptional. They're trying to make it everything that the first two games were not. They're trying to surpass all the previous games that they've created in the series. They want it to be crazier, have tighter controls, and just be more fun and exciting to play. They don't want to rely on gimmicks, and they want to make a game that's very polished, so I have complete faith in Platinum Games, and I can't wait for Bayonetta 3 to come out for the Switch. I love this series, and the Bayonetta games are so much fun, so can't wait to play this new one. Uh, Platinum Games are uh, amazing. They're, they're very talented developers, so 
I think it's going to be a lot of fun for uh, Nintendo Switch fans out there when this game comes out. And last piece of news, uh, Bethesda released a trailer for Wolfenstein 2 on the Nintendo Switch this week. And they gave a release date, so it's coming out in June, the 29th of June. So, end of June, Wolfenstein 2 comes out on the Switch. And this new trailer looks really awesome. Uh, it actually looks very close to the console versions of the game. Not sure what version it's running on, but to be honest, I think it looks pretty decent on the Nintendo Switch screen. So, if it's anything like Doom on the Switch, I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Having the ability to play Wolfenstein on a handheld system sounds like a lot of fun to me. So, yeah, uh, that's it for the news this week. Uh, thanks for listening and watching this ASMR gaming news video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon with a new ASMR video. So, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. So long, and...